Hi everybody, this is Pradeep. Uh, so today I'm going to take another interview question and this question is from Accounts Payable. Uh, particularly this is related to Payment Block and more uh, particularly it is related to R Block. So let me give you the question here. The question was exactly I don't remember the question what was uh, asked in interview to the inter participant. The question was uh, like for example let's say uh, in invoice, in vendor invoice. So there is Payment Block is there and uh, that R Block and uh, due to some reason this payment blocks are already there in your invoice that means if you'll check a bl one end so they are these payment blocks are there and what what is the reason why these payment blocks are there that is question number one and uh, second thing if let's say there are 100 invoices are there 100 open items are there and now in every line items let's say the payment block is there are and how it is we can like how we will remove these payment blocks are we going to uh, double click each line item so that we are going to remove or is there any mass change option is was there so this is overall the question i hope you got the idea so uh, let me quickly tell you about this payment block if you are not familiar with the payment block uh, then maybe quickly let me tell you that then we will come to the question so where we can find this uh, payment block so let's go to the system and let's understand where we can see these uh, payment blocks if we will go to ob27 so that is related to our payment block related to finance right so here you can see the different payment block options are there and uh, what are these payment blocks and when we are going to use it so like if i will categorize this payment block right if i will categorize this free uh, payment block so i can categorize into three categories so one is related to my automatic payment pro program which we are using in app second category we are going to use in manual payment transactions that is when we are going to go for manual payments mostly f-53 related to vendor payment and the third one is release payment which is related to vendor invoice from the logistic point of view and this current question is related to this one so quickly let's see what are the options are available here in which situation we are going to use these payment blocks so the first payment block if you'll see the first payment block if i will take that is the free payment this one so free payment means this is there is no issue we can this one so there is no issue we can continue with the payment and we can proceed with the payment problem so free payment will allow the payment postings for the open items that means we can use uh, this one so most of the time you will find that if there is no issue with the payment we can proceed with the payment so that means uh, in line items you will not find these free payments so where i can see these free payments like in if we'll go to a line item right so randomly i have taken one vendor uh, transactions and in this vendor transactions if this is one line item is there so you can see here this item is free for payment that means there is no issue for the payment point of view and uh, this payment block is blank so blank means it is free for payment and we can proceed with the payment so that is the meaning of the free payment then the second category you can see skip account skip account is this one second one right this one skip account so this this is more useful when we are going to run the f110 that means the app payment so when we are going to use the app payment so if this option is there or this asterisk is there so that means system is going to skip those align items because it is blocked for payment but it is more applicable related to our app so if this one is there then when you, we need to block any particular line items and that line item should not be included in our app run then we may use this one right and uh, that means uh, system is going to skip those line items from our app run so let's say we have 100 line items are there 100 open items are there which is ready for the payment and in five line items this particular payment block option is there so system is going to skip those fine line it items or those invoices and system is going to consider only 95 line items which is uh, available for your payment so we can update payment block in master data like right now i am in business partner and particularly i am in the finance segment of the business partner so if we'll go to the payment transaction tab here you can see this payment block option is there right now it is blank that means it is ready for the payment there is no issue but if i will add here one payment block here let's say that uh, um, skip account the asterisk one I, if i will add skip account for this particular supplier whatever the vendor invoices are there let's say total six invoices are there now all these invoices are blocked for payment because i have updated in the master record so that is one option we can update the payment 
payment block. Second option, I can also update this payment block in line items. So I was showing that time line items. So here also I can update the payment block. So if I will update here the payment block, anyone. So particularly it is applicable that particular invoice. So that means this invoice, not all the invoices related to vendor, only this invoice is not available for payment or its system is going to skip it. So both I'm explaining from app point of view one option we can update in the master record second option we can update in the line items so till now i have explained two options one is free for payment that means ready for payment second one is skip account which is not available for app payment so particularly this one is used for app payment third option is we can also update at payment terms level o double b eight if i'm going to update any payment block here so everywhere the payment blocks are same only thing is how we are going to use it so if you are going to use in this uh, payment any payment terms so if this payment terms is applicable or if you have updated this payment terms any master record or in the line items then also vendor payment will be blocked so that is also third region but where we are actually using mostly we are using at line items because it is coming from our logistic vendor invoice so that's why you will find more use of the uh, payment block which is related to R which I'm coming to the next option so till now I explained two options now coming to the next one which is we are going to use that is related to our FI MM integration point of view but this configuration is related to logistic so that we we can update in our uh, OMRC transaction code which is related to your MM settings not related to finance so there also you can find this uh, payment block options okay so if let me quickly show you that too under metal management it is more useful for the logistic point of view or if you are working on logistic this one is going to help you if you'll go to your invoice verification and under this invoice verification if you'll go to your invoice block here you will find this one determine the payment block option so exactly also you will find the same screen here it's already open so that's why it's showing lock lock option here also exactly you will find this option that means it can be also used in logistic this one is related to logistic and this one is related to finance but usage is same so like where we can use it we can configure it from the finance point of view or we can configure it from the logistic point of view and once you configure any payment terms the next question is where we can use it we can use it in line items we can use it in vendor invoice uh, i mean vendor invoice we can use it in master records or we can use it in payment terms now coming to the question let's say here uh, the required tolerances are given the tolerances are configured in the logistic point of view so that means when a particular parameters is going to update so when the logistic invoice is approaching or logistic invoice is reaching to the tolerance let's say we have updated a tolerance of let's say 10 percent or whatever so automatically system is going to block it system is going to apply the option R here which is related to logistic this one invoice verification point of view okay or let's say invoice verification not done or percentage is high then system is going to uh, system is going to block it so this payment block R is set because of the invoice verification now coming to the question so let's say in all line items the payment R option is updated okay that was the question initially which I said so in every line items so payment option uh, all the invoices are having the line items are updated now assume that these are the line items are there from different different vendors and everywhere let's say this R is updated now how we are going to release it so one option is when we are going to release the block invoices so logistic point of view we have one transaction code is there which is mb sorry mrbr so that also can be applicable this is our release in blocked invoices from the logistic point of view so check the company code check your document and we can execute or posting data wise we can execute so mostly logistic people they used to do this one due to some reason let's say it's it's also done due to some reason it's not yet cleared and uh, it is also updated in our abl1n by this time abl1n it should be cleared 
the payment block should be cleared but due to some reason it's not yet cleared and in all line items the payment block option r is available how to remove automatically this was the questions just to explain the payment block i have added this uh, few content here the payment block options now one option is i can manually double click like here it's a payment block it's b but i want to go with uh, like assume that here r is there now b is what manual payment that means i can't proceed with the manual payment that means this one you can't use for f dash 53 but here i assume that uh, it is r is there and uh, i can just edit it and i can remove it i can make it blank so that it is available for the payment but practically it is not possible Let, let's say you have 100 line items are there 500 invoices are there so one by one if user is going to do it is practically not possible and the qu question was how to automatically or how to how we will go for mass change so simple it you just select all the line items whatever it is there select all the line items and go for this one mass change then go for this mass change and remove so what i want to do i want to remove all these r's assume that it is all r so simply i will select here the which is right now it is available payment block as payment block is updated as r okay so i will simply free make it free payment and execute done uh, in interview don't think that always difficult questions will be there sometimes very easy questions also interviewer asking so they are basically trying to check your fundamentals how you are good in each areas of uh, business process and uh, maybe if you are not prepared in detail or maybe you have um, skipped some miscellaneous areas then this will create the problem so i thought i will share this one and it will help you in your preparation if it is not clear or any question feel free to add the comments i am happy to answer all your queries thank you